The teams are on the floor. We are ready for Vanderbilt and number one South Carolina Victoria Sexton wins the opening tip and we're underway with South Carolina in their roadblock. 18 and 0, 6 and 0 in the SEC. They have won 24 in a row. Needless to say, this will be a monumental challenge for Vanderbilt. We'll talk about how they plan on going about trying to keep Carolina in check. Bree Beal gets the first points of the game for South Carolina. The starting five for Vanderbilt, they dress eight players, so we'll see everybody. These are the five that start. Kaija Harbison is the number two scorer in the SEC. Gerard is hitting 42% on three-pointers. Sasha Washington, their leading rebounder. She will have her hands full tonight. That is a good start for Vanderbilt. They need to make threes to keep touch with South Carolina. The starting five, very familiar with South Carolina. Cook, the leading scorer. Aaliyah Boston, the SEC player of the week. She's gone for 20 or more in her last two games. Well, this is going to be a great matchup. You see right here, South Carolina. Good fake on the drive by Jada Brown, but the freshman can't get it to go. Uh, Leah Bost Boston comes over, gets that block, and any time Leah Boston comes around, she's going to offer the shot, and you've got to be careful and not drive it too deep. Kira Fletcher gets her first points, averaging four a game. Yeah, it's been interesting to watch Kira Fletcher over the last couple of years. Had an opportunity to talk to her for a little bit. She said, Coach wants me to be more aggressive. And so I like that look for her. I know that that's something that they want. They want to get her going to the basket and make it hard on whoever guarding her. That's a challenge for Bree Beal. Outstanding defender, but giving up size to Sasha Washington on the block, who gets her first two. Watch Sasha Washington all game, and they're coming right back. Points in the paint is going to be what South Carolina is going to be going for. Sasha Washington, so you're going to see that for 40 minutes tonight. Vanderbilt, I mean, even after the, the loss on Monday, they came out. They got right back to work. They know that they have a, a big matchup right now. Came in for shoot-around today. Super positive. Get that first turnover. As Michaela Daniels and Arkansas were celebrating her buzzer beater, she recognized right away to, to be positive, to try to turn the page. That continued in practice this week and certainly pregame here today after such a heartbreaking loss just to remember the good things that they did against Arkansas, which is a very good team. You'll see them later tonight. And Zaya Cook steps to the line. Went for 16 against Mizzou, 78% from the free throw line. Having a coach like her, she instilled so many value. But I think the one big value is like being able to give, give up yourself. I think that's consistent, and hopefully that's consistent in the way that I live. Good drive, take to the basket by Gerard to pull Vandy within one. I could ask you just an open-ended question. How did she change your life? But we only have two hours for this game. So we'll get we'll have you sprinkle in some of those things as we go along here tonight, Catch. That would be wonderful. It's great to be with you here in Tennessee. Well, Saxon trying to get the ball in to Aaliyah Boston. She hasn't had many touches down low, and definitely we all know when she gets the ball, she attract two, maybe three players at times, so kind of hard to get her the ball in a scoring position. Bella Chance into the game for Vanderbilt. Letitia Ami here is on for South Carolina. On the back cut, beautiful take and a finish by Gerard. Here's Ami here, back out to Boston. Zaya Cook will try it for mid-range and knock it down. Vanderbilt came in the shoot around today. They were excited about this matchup, excited about an opportunity, especially coming off the game on Monday. They've had a couple of good looks from the outside. Boston can't control it, but controlled it just enough to get it to Fletcher. Fletcher to the trailer. Good touch. The feed inside to Cardoso. And one of the things you'll look at tonight is as South Carolina continues to put subs in there and continue to put different matchups in there, Vanderbilt is really small compared to the South Carolina team. And so Cardoso, I mean, when she gets in the game, you just have to throw the ball up and she will go get it. Off the miss, Fletcher will push it to a me here. 
and a whistle and a foul underneath. Jordan Cambridge, grad student, out for the year, an Achilles injury. SEC all freshman last year, top returning score. Kalen Smith is out. Amari Williams in the transfer portal. I mean, they are just dressing eight right now. So you can't afford a lot of whistles and fouls because you just don't have the depth. Well, you got to play smart. And if you get behind like that, Chamber does a great job. You can't afford to foul Aaliyah Boston on her back. You just got to allow her to score. And those are the possessions that you you want to go all out. You want to make the defensive move. But and a double dribble and a turnover for Vanderbilt. Leah Boston checks out. Raven Johnson, who checked in the previous whistle, running the point now. She's playing with a ton of confidence right now. Ami here. Ashlyn Watkins in the game. That won't drop. Cardoso comes away and she'll put it in this time. South Carolina still trying to figure out how to get the ball down low a little bit easier. But Cardoso does a great job getting that rebound. Eight nothing run for South Carolina. Cardoso just using that size to pull it away. Johnson showing that speed to score on the other end. Great pass, great heads up look. Four seconds to go. Oh, Raven Johnson gets called for that foul. That's Cardoso and then just Raven Johnson full speed. And the feed to Watkins. So Vanderbilt put it into play, and that's the end of the quarter. A 10-0 run for South Carolina to close out quarter number one. We're at Memorial Gym in Nashville. So that's what I said earlier in the first quarter is to just throw the ball up and let her go get it. You'd rather her you'd rather the ball go out of bounds when you're trying to attempt the ball, making a pass inside like that. As Johnson will put it into play. Ami here. Bree Hall in the game for South Carolina. Hall with six to shoot. Lachance goes down. The shot is no good. Down goes Lachance again as Watkins ran into her. They play on. Well, I like both teams playing a little bit physical. And Ami here with the clean block. This is a shot blocking team number one in Division One. Really competing hard. Obviously Vanderbilt a little bit undersized, but doesn't take anything away from how they're playing. Missed, oh, they've gotten a few really good looks. That last one, Jada shot the ball a little bit too fast. Pass is knocked away. And the run continues for South Carolina. Oh, Raven Johnson just so good. And she's in that open floor. Got a great look on the left side. Six points, five rebounds, four assists last time out for South Carolina. We need high percentage shots. I think some of it is screening a little bit more, spacing the floor a little bit more. They are a great three-point shooting team. They have a few players that can really shoot the ball well. So those are the ones that you got to make sure get involved in the offense, space the floor, and allow those opportunities. Leah Boston back into the game. Boston spinning it in on the baseline. Boston has probably seen every single defensive positioning that you can uh, straight up, up front, behind, two people on her, three people on her. I think at one point I've seen four people defending her. So there's a whole bunch that's going on. But Aaliyah Boston continues to move, continue to work. Johnson over to Cook. Cook comes up short on the floater. Watkins with a good save and a second chance here, but then Cook. Well, this is what you'll see for South Carolina. You'll see a lot of rotation because they, A, have the depth to do that, but B, minutes-wise, you know, Coach Daly done a great job of just really playing players. They're going to get what they want. Or Vanderbilt on a long drought. Their last field goal came with 4.22 to go in the first quarter. Now Vanderbilt, yet another miss right there trying to get the ball down low and it's like with the trees down there you almost have to be a little bit careful what I said before space the floor the drives and kick game is probably the better way to go or how about the miss the shot but get the offensive <laughs> rebound game for Ashley Watkins 
Finally, the run ends, and the drought ends. Jada Brown knocks it down 4-3. It was an 18-0 run for South Carolina. Uh, much needed shot right there, right at the right time, and Aaliyah Boston getting a double, triple team, and still able to finish. I mean, three's not enough. One we more. need the quadruple <laughs> team, the quintuple team. Just showing off my vocabulary. You do not want to play me in Scrabble. I know there are not enough letters in a turn to pull off quintuple or quadruple, let alone say it in this case. Quickly back the other way as South Carolina gets it right back with Zaya Cook. That's good. That's good by number one. Three pointer off the mark and then batted out of bounds. It, it won't be Sanaya's call. That's over the outstretched arm of Johnson as Boston goes back. There was no touch in the front court, so no violation. Bree Beal, just inside the three-point line, knocks it in. From the defensive standpoint, what type of a player she is, and normally you see her, um, whoever the best offensive player is, because she's just so good at being able to move her feet. Not just the starting five, but when you look at the bench and all of these players rotating in, their players up. So whether I get the shot or I'm setting my teammate up to get the shot, I think she understands just how good this team is and being able to move and pass the ball. Not only will I take the shot, I'll make the shot. You better. Don't mess up my assist. <laughs> I wouldn't think of it. Johnson can't get it. Boston tried to grab it. Tracked down by Saxton. Second chance here. Back out to Beal. Here is Beal on the drive. A little too strong, though, but that's no problem for Aaliyah Boston to clean up the offensive rebounds. Brown will try it. Can't get it. And Fletcher's got the rebound. On the wing to Kitts. Skip it to Beal. Yeah, that's just the way to play right here. Move the ball around, get it inside, Chloe. Saxton. 24 eighths in favor of South Carolina. And a block by Fletcher. Yeah, Kiara Fletcher, that's her second block so far this game, and just doing a great job on the defensive end, all the way in, not able to finish, but Saxton. Another offensive rebound and a timeout called by Van. Always looking at trying to get the ball down low. Good job by Chambers on the defensive end. Debbie Washington on the offensive glass. Rebound for Bree Hall. You just get used to, as you watch South Carolina through the course of the season, just the different combinations they throw on the floor as Bree Beal. We've consistently in previous years talked about her defense, but now she's starting to show her offense. Men's Hoop Tuesday on the SEC Network. Vandy men part of the doubleheader on Tuesday night. They'll host Oscar Shibwe and Kentucky. South Carolina shooting 56% for the game, 58% in this quarter, and that number will go up. Underestimate Kiara Fletcher, what she brings. Harbison, a rare open look for her. Still looking for her first points. Now 0 for 8 from the field as South Carolina has made it their mission to neutralize the leading score for Vanderbilt. Fletcher, strong drive for two. And a traveling violation. Cardoso's got to launch it. And they say it comes after. It wasn't quick enough. <laughs> Camilla. Well, Boston continues to show that she's not just a one-dimensional player down low. She can do it all inside, outside, get the rebound, yet another one. Shooting for another double-double for tonight. And just made it very difficult for Sasha Washington, who's a very good post player, to get off a good shot. Here's Zaya Cook. Cook had six in the first half. Fletcher had eight. She's got it looking inside for Boston, who turns to face and scores. So pretty, Aaliyah Boston into double figures. And here goes Harbison downhill, and there is her first field goal. I don't think she heard me. I think it was Shea Ralph and the coaching staff <laughs> saying in the locker room at halftime, uh, can we get our leading scorer involved here? 
Cook for three. They have not lost since last year. So in what areas do you look at South Carolina and said that needs to be a little bit better? Because you can just tell by Dawn's look sometimes that it's still not good enough. Every single time down, and I think, you know, we had an opportunity to talk to her SID and just talking about how disciplined she is and just the way she lives her life. So I can only imagine just the discipline they... That's Aaliyah Fawcett. Vanderbilt's got to get some movement. They got to get some, move the ball, set some screen, get open looks. Harvest had good feet down to Washington. Couldn't get it to drop. One and done, and a rebound comes out to South Carolina. Beal. And a blocking foul is going to be called on Lachance. Sunni Lee and Auburn taking on Arkansas. Nine points now for Bree Beal. Leah Boston leading the way with 12. Washington scores against Boston. Bella Lachance is five foot six. You flip it around for Leah Boston, who's six foot five. <laughs> Cook can't get it. Well, that's Zaya Cook is coming through the lane. Bella Lachance trying to get her hands on it. Zaya Cook, Tamika was talking about how she's elevated her game this season in SEC play, averaging just under 18 points a game, which is three points better than her season average. And now Cook digging in on defense against Lachance. Lachance. Took it underneath. Allen's got half a step, but Victoria Saxton, crafty veteran, four-year captain for this South Carolina team, gets the block. And I think that's an area, I mean, you look at South Carolina, we had the clips early on in the first half, they had five blocks, but they're just so good. They used their length really well. Saxton never gave up on the play. Aaliyah Boston down low again, and Ryan Allen tries to step up. Ten assists for South Carolina as a team. Sit them down. I mean, when you look at the numbers, the minutes for South Carolina, they've got 13 players averaging at least 10 minutes a game, and no one averages more than 25 minutes a game. Well, I think, too, part of it, I mean, we talked to Coach Taylor. She said, I'm trying to keep my team healthy. So when you look at the minutes. Coach Summit pulled up a chair real close to watch Shea play, and that was the first connection for Shea Ralph and Pat Summit. Now that connection would continue when it came to the recruitment of Shea Ralph because Tennessee obviously is Zia Cook scores. But one thing that Shea Ralph pointed out to, uh, to us today was one of the things that stood out the most as Gerard can't knock it down was when Shea called Pat to say I'm going to UConn, our travel UConn. What did she say about how Pat Summit handled it? Didn't hang up the phone on her. She said she handled it with grace. She said I feel like Pat Summit is is has been an incredible woman and i think that's something that we can all say zaya cook knocked down the three it's, it's cool for me too like to hear stories like that when shay was talking about she said i went to a lot of different camps and clinics and you know, able to get the hudson finally able to get another shot but zaya cook south carolina quick to bring it up the court we look forward to hearing those over the next week for we back pat but you love hearing them as well because it probably takes you back to your days as an All-American at Tennessee. Well, I just love hearing stories of um, great women. I mean, Pat was obviously her legacy with basketball, her legacy for the That's women's game. Line. Leah Boston continues to dominate down low, but her legacy in this game and why we celebrate We Back Pat and the Pat Summer Clinic and, you know, at the University of Tennessee, there's just so many different things that are being built, and I love hearing those stories. Demi Washington knocks it down from the outside. Her 12th double-double, the 72nd double-double of her great career at South Carolina. Your career ended early at Tennessee because of a knee injury. I think Shea lost count of the number of knee injuries she had at Connecticut. Bree Beal trying to get the rebound. Oh, we got, oh man, we are going way deep. <laughs> The so head Leah to head Boston between head to the bench. And, <laughs> oh, no, my but, goodness. But, but did you want to talk about the weather? Did you uh, want to talk uh, about the music you liked in Nashville? Oh. Or would you like to talk about this graphic right here? Well, South Carolina gets the back. <laughs> you and just answered my question. <laughs> Why don't you do play by play? I'll analyze that graphic. 
Here's LaChance looking for the entry to Sasha Washington, and Cardoso gets called for the foul. Well, Cardoso, all she has to really do is allow Sasha Washington to get around her and put your hand straight up, try to get the ball out of the air. Run the floor. They're not walking the ball up. They're not trying to get in the half-court offense, really trying to stay in the flow. Coming out of the locker room, that back to what you talked about, what is Dawn Staley looking for? Did it feel like they were keeping that foot down on the gas and trying to just play just the right way, play together, be connected before coming out of the game? Oh, it's interesting. I listened to the press conference, and a lot of the question that can said to this team, when you look at it, I mean, 18-9 in the first quarter, and maybe the first, second possession, they didn't get the score. Vandy able to, to score. Sasha Washington get that score right there, but... I do feel like as the game wears on, I mean, every single lineup they put out there is different. As a me here steps to the line. Shot clock down to four for Vandy. Washington showing no fear, gets knocked down, and now Johnson on the push. To Cardoso on the trail, and she'll go to the free throw line. So here is Camilla, number three on the team in the score. That would probably be another area of the free throw line. They're getting to the free throw line and getting these opportunities. 6 and 0 in the SEC. South Carolina also 18 and 0. Last time they were ranked that high was 2007. First points of the second half for Gerard come at the free throw line. She's got 11, the only player for Vandy in double figures. Johnson. Inside to a me here, rejected by Sasha Washington. Guess who's after it? Bella LaChance. Bella LaChance still working for it. Down to two, down to one. A me here there defensively for South Carolina. And that will bring us to the end of the third quarter. The 96 Olympic team and then fast forward and have the opportunity to join the 2002 World Championship team. Then we get to the Olympic team. But playing with Dawn, that's how I learned how to be a leader. You know, you watch her on the bench and just her calm or not so calm demeanor at times. But <laughs> that's how she was as a player. You know, she's passionate about the game, passionate, perfectionist part of it. Harbison, the entry, Cardoso playing with the four. As a player and even as a person, just watch me. Do as I do and don't worry, like I really didn't talk Ooh, Nice much. move by Watkins yeah. inside. Where people can understand, and I think as a young person, we all want to fit in. And we want to kind of just blend in. She's very tight with her words. Not like she's just going to ramble on and say a lot of things like I think I do at times now. But, yeah, I think what she says is very impactful and influential, and especially early on for me. Cardoso inside for two more. But I think the difference 2004 and then going to 2016, Eric, you know, really. Nice try by Harbison. So we didn't have a lot of gym time, but uh, who works with the New York Liberty now, but they would come and Dom would put me through workouts because I was determined. I was like, I don't want, since I'm not playing a lot with the Olympic team, to get back to the WNBA. First year with Vandy, number two all-time scoring list when she played for the St. Louis Billikens for four seasons. Johnson, who beautiful little bounce pass. Give her the assist. Gerard. Lachance gets it to go. Bella Lachance gets her first points. But Vandy coming out, trying to put their foot on the gas, trying to get some more energy into this fourth quarter. They have not had an answer here in the paints. Hall inside, two more. Little hesitation, Gerard takes it at Cardoso. Oh, that's a great drive. I would just keep attacking, attack mentality for Vanderbilt. Johnson keeps that mentality, rolls off Cardoso. No, Johnson, another putback, second chance points. Big advantage, 18 to one is the advantage on second chance points for South Carolina tonight. Well, Vanderbilt not doing a good job, boxing out. Raven Johnson takes the shot, goes out of bounds, comes back into play, gets another rebound. 
Looked like there was a trip, nothing called, and there's a trip there, no one around, <laughs> Bree Hall, and somehow she gets it to Watkins, and a me here gets hammered. I don't remember. Shouldn't you know? Where's that, that trophy? Was a long time did you ago. Get, I have no recollection of playing this channel. Oh, I like, do. No, I did not say that. Come I on. thought I was going to have to. right now. Okay. We can't be arguing. <laughs> the North Carolina. <laughs> so that North Carolina game. Freshman year when yes. we almost lost that game. 1998. Kelly Jolly, now Harper, slam. Uh, we were right over there. Okay. On my right side, we're under Shea over there. We are on that side of the bench, and Kelly Jolly slam. I have no idea. Give a guess. Uh, 15. Uh, every Tennessee fan who's watching you saying they're yelling at the TV, you scored 27 in the title game. Well, I played terrible the game before. <laughs> well, I remember that. Now, I played now, terrible before the game before. I remember Coach Brown coming up to me and saying, you're going to be awful in the last game. And I remember saying to him, I'm like, I just looked at him. I'm a little freshman. South Carolina, Vanderbilt had three pl offensive players back there. South Carolina almost got the steal. Here comes Harbison. Harbison takes it to the basket, and it's blocked by Ami here. You know, get a reverse layup in or just keep the ball alive and dribble, and she's trying to get called for the fouls. Chambers. Like that. Yeah, she got it done. Back out top to Kitts. Defended by Harbison. Bree Hall, Hall spinning, floating, scoring. Tonight, just attacking the basket. Nine of Gerard's 13 came in the first half. There is Demi Washington back the other way for two. And stretched it out to a 44 point lead after three. Good finish by the freshman Kitts. South Carolina has so many different weapons. Sasha Washington. She looks for the assist instead. Good on selfish play. She's averaging 23 and 15. Here's a me here. Well, South Carolina just so dominant. I mean, you look at all the players that are out there. The only one, Thompson, just checked in and. The only player that has not scored thus far, but everything, everybody else has scored. So they're getting up, up and down the floor, finding the open players, moving the basketball, playing great defensively. How do you keep everybody happy? And things work themselves out in practice. Again, we talked about no one averaging more than 25 minutes a game. You're not going to pile up big individual numbers, but you look at the scoreboard and you pile up wins. And that's the most important thing for this program. Well, you pile up wins, and I think the ultimate goal is to win a national championship, right? So whatever it takes for the success of your team, and granted, majority of these players are used to playing. I mean, Coach Staley will say, like, they're used to playing a lot of minutes. And I think being able to sacrifice for the good of the team is important. But yet, you talked about Aaliyah Boston. I mean, she still has a double-double. Cardoso in there got really good numbers. Hall had played some really good minutes and done some great things. So down the line, every single player. And Thompson, who Cardoso just hit the shot, but Thompson, who just subbed in, is a walk-on. She got a scholarship a couple years ago. So like being able to have opportunity to get in the game is important. 10 points, 15 rebounds now for Cardoso off the bench. I think everybody's circling that February 12th game, Reese and Boston. The double-double Queens, Angel Reese, you see her numbers 24 and 15. That is up and in. Harbison gets there. Able to finish, get to the free throw line, finish with the and one. Held in check here today by South Carolina. Well, held in check, she got nine, she had nine points, she shot three for 15, but I think one of the things you have to recognize is South Carolina, she was on South Carolina's game plan. Two thousand and one points <laughs> in her career. Tracked down by Demi Washington. Final minute here in Nashville. South Carolina will improve to 19 and 0, 7 and 0 in the SEC. The winning streak will stretch to 25. LSU will see if they can keep pace atop the SEC standings. Coming up at the top of the hour. Good finish by Gerard. 
15 points to pace Vanderbilt tonight. Coming off that 31 point performance against Arkansas when she made seven threes. Shot clock is turned off. South Carolina will dribble out the clock. Another impressive performance for the number one team in the country. Well, they continue to tell you and show you why they are so dominant. From 1 to 12, everybody that came in scored. Well, 11 out of the 12 scored. They continue to show just how dominant they are.